What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Merchandise in the link in the description. Also, if you guys want to donate to the channel, there's a PayPal. I appreciate every one of you guys that have donated to the channel in the past videos. I just want to say it really helps me out and I really appreciate you guys' support. Watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting, interacting with us. I appreciate it. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to take the valve cover that I had that was red and shave it all down and polish it up. I didn't show you guys how I did the distributor, it's the same exact way that I did valve cover. So let's get started. Out of body with the flow. They want it more. I give them more. Alright guys, so I got the valve cover off the car, all the spark plug seals and everything removed. I'm gonna take aircraft paint remover. I'm gonna let it soak for about 10 minutes with a thin layer, let it eat up a little bit of paint, spray it off with the water hose, wipe it off, and then do it again. Alright guys, for right now, this is a good start. All these other smaller details, like in here and around in this area, I'll be able to get to those in here. With sanding, I'm not really worried about it, but for right now, let's start getting the process of taking this off and go from there. I'm going to use this 40 grit flap disc, and then once I hit it with this, I'll go over with the medium grit polishing wheel. Alright guys, there's little spots right here and on this side. I can eventually have somebody weld something in there, fill those and then polish it up. As far as getting this thing down shaved, it's not that bad. I was kind of worried about these because I thought that was going to leave an actual hole in there. But it's just where the bolt stops. I'm going to take off these tabs right here and smooth this out. Looks pretty good so far. front tabs and all the markings got the back ones all shaved I'm gonna take the medium and go over the whole thing and then I'm gonna take the coarse and then the fine and these are supposed to make it chrome just by this we'll find out and see what's up That one's getting pretty much done. I went over most of it where I could. What I noticed with that is, from using this 40 grit one, using this medium brown pad for the polishing, it actually took away all of the scratches that the 40 grit left. I've never done this before, figured I'd try it out. So far it's looking pretty good. So this right here is the coarse, this is the yellow one. Hit the whole thing with that and let's see what happens. So I hit it with the course, 
Now I'm going to hit it with the fine. You can already see that it's taken most of the scratches out of it. I just want to get this last one done. Hit it with a polishing wheel and see what it looks like. Alright guys, that's going through all the disc. I'm going to polish it up a little bit, see if it's going to get chrome just from doing this. But I have a lot of other little places that I didn't get because everything else was just with these. So I can't reach down in these areas. I'm not going to do all of this. I'm going to do the top just to get an idea to see if it's possible. It's not bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand this whole thing down and do the regular process of what I do. I'm not gonna show you guys that. You guys can watch the other video. I'll leave a link in the description of making a valve cover chrome by hand. So this is a first that I've seen everything completely being shaved. You can still see some scratches and stuff in there. I'll catch up to you guys after start getting it ready to polish. All right guys, so I went ahead and sanded the whole thing down. 80 grit all the way up. 3000 so that way I can flatten it out a lot more as far as going over everything this is what it looks like and it's not even polished yet let's throw some mother's mag polish on it So I got this old school Clark flex spinner. I got this from an auction a long time ago. I'm gonna use that on some of these areas. I'm gonna use this on a lot of these other flatter areas. I'm gonna start the process of this and let's see what happens. out pretty sick I'm gonna change out the seals for the valve cover bolts I'll show you guys how I do that quick easy way to to change them out this thing's got reflection on point that mirror finish compound don't play you guys How to change the valve cover bolt grommets i'm gonna show you real quick easy fast way to do this grab some pliers some cutters cut the grommet you can just take it by hand pull it off just like that so with the new one what you want to do is just put a little bit of oil what we're going to do is just find you a 10 millimeter on your engine bay somewhere screw this in and once you screw it down basically what it's going to do is it's gonna pop itself up. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Warranty swap my alternator out. Also warranty swap the radiator out. This bay's looking ugly. If you guys wanna sponsor me, hit me up. I had the intake tube on this for the D16Y7. Over here, it's an AEM one. Link in the description if you guys wanna purchase this. I'm gonna have this on eBay. If you guys have a D16Y7 with the same type intake manifold as me, hit me up. I'll hook you guys up with that. Send you guys a couple slap stickers. Let me know what's up. Link in the description if you guys want to purchase it. I'm going to throw on these valve cover bolts real quick. Got the gasket. Already the spark plug seals. Already good. Let's see what this thing is going to look like on here. All 
All right, guys, there you go. Looks clean. All I got to do is get my oil cap. Hey, thank you. Link in the description for the AEM intake piping if you guys want to purchase that. I'm going to have some more videos coming up. Sanding this down, wire tucking, and putting the battery in the trunk. As far as right now, what do you guys think? Leave a comment. Hella shiny. Also, the distributor I did matches. Looks pretty clean. If you guys want to donate to the channel, link in the description for the PayPal. I appreciate everybody that has donated in the past videos. And you guys trying to help me get this build done. Until then, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Like pockets, bird like pocket, you know the king stop us, you know the king stop. Keep my mind at ease.